Hi, this is a short video on how to replace the ice maker in a Samsung uh, chest freezer. I've already got the old ice maker out uh, and it's uh, pretty easy to uh, sw switch out. It'll take you uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to unload all the food out of the freezer chest, which is, we've already done here. Uh, then once that is out, uh, you uh, take out the, this uh, drawer here by lifting up and out like that, and set it aside. And then this, this uh, tub here has to come out by lifting up sliding in a little bit, then lifting up like that and out. To pull the drawer out, you've got to release two catches, one on either side. This is the one on the left hand side. you got to push that in and then pull the drawer out until you get past the catch a little bit and then repeat the same thing on the other side then you can pull the drawer all the way out okay what once you have that released be sure to have a rug under here to set this on so you don't scratch the floor and this slides out like so Set it on, on the rug. It's left the other way, so I'm going to carry this out of the way. All right, now you've got the access to the ice unit, which is up here. And to get that out, We'll take a Phillips screwdriver, and there's two screws here and here. You take those screws out, and you pull it forward and tilt it down, and there's a connector that has to be disconnected from the ice maker. This is the connector that has to be disconnected from the refrigerator. To disconnect it, you need to squeeze this catch here and then pull out. If you don't squeeze it, it's not coming out. So remember to squeeze this guy and it's on the side that is towards the outside of the refrigerator. And the new unit goes in in the opposite order. You slide it in or connect this connector first then slide it in to uh, the bosses that are on the ref uh, inside the chest freezer and then put the two screws in and you're done. That's it. Uh, now one thing on this is uh, there's a test switch right here this will cause the unit to cycle. After you first put it in, press on that switch and it will run through the whole cycle of emptying, emptying the tray and filling it with water. This, uh, this guy here is about 80 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link to this you know, in, in the comments section of the, this video. Once you have the ice maker back in, don't forget to turn the water back on and turn the ice maker back on here. This is uh, the amount of ice that you'll produce in about one 24 hour period. This ice maker uh, obviously wasn't producing ice 
but it would uh, function uh, somewhat normally, meaning I could press this this uh, reset button here and it would go through a whole cycle, reload with water, but that was it. I'll show you some schematics uh, for your for the geeky guys on what what's going on. There's two sensors in here in this ice maker. Uh, one they call uh, an ice ejection sensor. That, this uh, cable goes to it. It's in here. And the other is a Hall effect sensor. Uh, Hall effect sensors uh, are used to sense magnetic fields and electric current. I have no idea what these sensors are being, well obviously the ice ejection sensor is being used to eject ice. I don't know what kind of sensor it is and I don't know what they're using the Hall effect sensor. But one of these sensors has to be bad uh, because uh, you know electrically everything else is working on this thing. Now when you replace this get the B model. The B model has this guard under it. The, uh, the A model does not have this. This guard I believe is, is put on to protect this flex ice tray because I've seen people break this before.